this is Eric Windheim, building biologist and electromagnetic radiation specialist. We're looking at an oscilloscope trace and a spectrum analyzer trace and a Stetzer meter reading of a house in a nice lovely residential area in Oregon. <clears throat> and we're reading 564 Stetzer units. Uh, we're getting voltage amplitudes of close to a volt. And this is with everything on. So the next thing we're going to do <clears throat> is turn the static heavy duty box on. So please turn the static heavy duty box on. Okay, so that brings us down on a Stetzer meter, which is a simple digital readout, 104. We can see the amplitude is greatly reduced. But there's still an awful lot of trash here underneath 10 kilohertz. And the capacitive parallel filters, which uh, Stetzer and Green Wave and Static are, they tend to just, they don't really filter down below 10. So let's turn that thing off again. Okay, now we still have all the breakers in the on, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to turn all the breakers off so that the only electricity in the house is coming from this one little outlet here on the kitchen counter. Keep going. Okay, so when we reduce current to the other circuits, we get a much higher reading here because the only way the electricity can come into the house is on this circuit here and now we're up to 1100 okay now turn the static back on okay so that brought us down to 100 okay turn the static off okay and gee I need another flashlight oh I got one over here Okay, so now we're going to turn on the RX DNA line filter. Okay, so that brought us down to 50, 40. Okay, this is the RX DNA standard 200 amp filter. Now turn the static on. It's on and it went up a little bit, so turn it off, please. Okay, now we're going to go to the low frequency DNA 200 amp line filter. So that drops us down a little bit more. Again, that's standard frequency. We're at 38, 39, put on the low frequency. We're down at 36. But you can see the big difference of the low frequency meter filter is it gets rid of almost everything down to about two kilohertz down here. That really is the important thing because some people are very sensitive to that. Okay, now we're going to turn on the static. So turn on the static also right now. Okay, now we're down to 25. So the best combination is the 200 amp DNA line filter low frequency and the static power perfect box heavy duty and we got it down to 25 and this is about the cleanest we've been able to get an installation like this will cost about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars so you have to really decide if you like the house of course you can get dirty electricity at any house all of, even if you have nothing on that's dirty the neighbors can come in and put in a very dirty solar inverter variable speed pool pump variable speed heat pump solar system and your house will be polluted so sooner or later until government corrects the output of these machines that are polluting our electricity you have to protect yourself at your own cost thank you very much okay.